Got it. Okay. Right. So the three types of estimates, conceptual, detailed, and definitive, be careful, they are also sequential. If I say sequential, I mean the one follow on the other and the other one follow on the other one. As you go through the project life cycle, I'll give you an example of that now. now. Um, a conceptual estimate. What is a conceptual estimate? A conceptual estimate is done during the conceptual phase of a project. If I can just quickly draw it to you, you can clearly see in your project life cycle, if that is your end of your project life cycle, that is your start. Here you have your concept phase, here you have your plan and design phase, here you have your execution or implementation as we call it and here you have your closer phase. The conceptual estimate is done there. Right. That is during that phase of the life cycle. Then you have um, the limited data. Limited data is because during the conceptual phase all the requirements of the project are not done as yet. Remember, as you move along with the project, more and more information become available to you. More and more information. So here is very limited data. Because of progressive elaboration, progressive, progressive elaboration, Progressive elaboration, meaning as you go along, as more requirements become available, the scope starts elaborating, becoming more clear. So there's limited data, but there's a broad level of data, broad level of data. The conceptual estimate is also called a ROM, which is a rough order of magnitude. Because at this point in time, you don't know, you are basing your costing on historical um, historical data or other completed projects that are similar in nature to the one that you're currently doing. So this is called a rough order of magnitude estimate, a guesstimate, etc. That is what a conceptual estimate is, is all about. And how, where did you get it from? It used previous or similar projects or rough parameters. So when you've done a project that you're currently busy with, which is similar to a project that has been completed in the past, you can make use of that historical data as a rough order of magnitude estimate during the conceptual phase. What are the accuracy more about? If you look at the presentation, so yeah, you will be more or less 75% accurate. Your accuracy is plus minus 75%. So that is a conceptual estimate. So can you see that the total project value can, in terms of conceptual estimate, can never be your budget because it's only 75% accurate. Right? If I go to the detailed estimating, let us just quickly look at what detailed estimating says. The detailed estimate is also called budget estimating. It is based on the WBS, which is the work breakdown structure, what we've done in the scope, uh, scope of work and scope management process, and resourcing of each activity in each work package. Remember what we said when we do detailed estimating in terms of your work breakdown structure, as you go down in the work breakdown structure, the lowest level, the lowest level is the work package level. Work package. So the detailed estimating is based on the WBS at work package level. And look at the accuracy. Look at the accuracy. The accuracy is plus minus 90%. Plus minus 90%. 
So you're becoming more clearer, you're getting more closer to your goal, more closer to your goal. And there's a 10% plus minus 10% variance there. Right. So your lethal estimate comes straight from your WBS because in your work package, each and every activity or task has been allocated a cost in terms of manpower, material, and labor. Definitive estimate. The definitive estimate is based upon tenders and quotes and committed costs. And that accuracy is plus minus 95%. What do we mean by based on tender? If you have your work breakdown structure, you have all your detailed designs, in your drawings or your system specification etc and you go out on tender why do you go out on tender because what you have designed now what you've put in your WBS you need resources now to go and build that particular product or facility or to deliver that particular service so you go out on tender as soon as you receive the tenders your scope and cost is almost 100% accurate based on the information that you've given. So a definitive estimate will give you an accuracy of plus minus 95%. You can see that the other 5% is very, very minimal. Very, very minimal. So a budget should be more or less based upon, more or less based upon a definitive estimate elements of an estimate. So what does an estimate consist of? If you look at what the presentation, your net estimate in current, in current day prices, it can be dollars, it can be euros, it can be yen, it can be pound, it can be rand, and whatever pula or whatever um, um, uh, rand value of money you've got. The net estimate is made up of the contingency and the escalation which will then give you your gross estimate. So in essence, what we basically say, why do you need the contingency there? Contingency is there for your risk on your project because there's always risk on your project. Risk will always be inherent. If you look on the graph as you move over time, and that's your risk from 0 to 100%. The risk is always high and always go low to the end of the project. Always progressively elaborated as well. Because of the requirements being so limited in the beginning, the risk is high. So this is, you have to put a contingency amount in there for the simple reason to cover for project risk and also to cover for any items not, not, um, defined in the scope of work or for anything that happens downstream on the project that was not planned for, etc. So um, that is the, what a contingency is all about. And if you look at escalation, escalation is price increases, we call it the CPI, which is the cost um, consumer product index, and that differs from one year to the other. In one year it might be 6% and next year it might be 7% etc. So escalation cover for material cost etc. Equipment cost and labor cost that goes up on a yearly basis and never remain the same. So the net, the element of the estimate, your net estimate will then be made up of contingency and escalation to give you your gross estimate. So your net estimate is the one that you've, you've based your budget upon plus your contingency plus your escalation.